So actually, if you really know how to get into the guts of every tweet, you can see the registration date for every account. So I didn't actually know what mine was, but I went and looked at my latest tweet, and my registration date was September 25th, 2007. That's not the whole story. I, when I registered, I did not pick CRZ because I was an idiot. I picked KZIM. Now, KZIM is still there, but KZIM is a different account now. It's kind of a placeholder telling people that my name had changed and to go over to this account. Well, what the deal was, there was a CRZ. Uh, it was a nice girl from some Asian country, which didn't use the letters that I was using when I tweeted. But she'd been act inactive for two years. And although Twitter doesn't change inactive names anymore, they they can be swayed. Uh, you have to approve uh, trademark dilution or whatever. And the thing is, I've been using CRZ as my brand for at least since 95 and maybe longer. God, that's 16 years. Anyway, so the real thing that helped to uh, swing it along was that I had uh, both the .com and the .net and the .us. I had all those domains. That was almost as good as a trademark when I was sweet talking the Twitter support people and they switched it over. It looks like they did that October 28, 2009. So, although in retrospect, I should have picked up the name in 2007 when I registered. I don't know why I didn't, but uh, I didn't. But I did get it. There were shenanigans involved, and I've said too much.